Many beekeepers claim that they didn't do a mite treatment because they couldn't see any mites during inspections. Here's a nice colony. We know they've got varroa mites, since most colonies do. But if we freeze frame, can you see any of the mites on the backs of these bees? I sure can't. We can look at another colony and do the same test. Here's another nice, healthy, happy frame of brood. But if we freeze, do you see any varroa mites crawling around on the bodies of the bees? Most of the varroa mites' life during the summer is spent ducking into and out of brood cells, feeding on the bees, and producing little mite families like this one. Here we can see the dark red mother mite and some of her red uh, mature female uh, offspring, but the male offspring and the immature females are also crawling around on this drone pupa. They're the white or sort of transparent colored mites that we can see here in the video. You wouldn't see any of this just looking at the backs of the bees. Down in the bottom of the cell, we can see white mite frass, or poop, called guanine, and we can also see some of the remnants of the bee's pupation process. If we wanted to see the mites that were on the backs of the bees, we would have to pick each bee up individually, flip her over, and look at her underside. When varroa mites are riding around on bee bodies, they're generally on the underside of the bee's abdomen, and they typically wedge themselves underneath the overlapping abdominal plates on the underside of the bee. Here we can see a varroa mite who is mostly hidden and protected underneath the armor on this bee's belly, and the bee is very politely allowing us to show her off. Just because you don't see mites on the backs of your bees doesn't mean the mites aren't there. 